Hello everyone, I am Evelyn and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to release one of the beneficial insects, ladybugs. Ladybugs eat aphids, mites, millibugs, and trips. It is very important to place the ladybugs in the refrigerator after you purchase them from the store. This will calm them down until you release them at night. It is also important that you water the plants prior to releasing the ladybugs. Another important tip is it's very important to check your plants if there's existing trips or aphids on your plants prior to releasing the ladybugs. This will serve as food for the ladybugs. It is 8.30 at night and I'm taking out my ladybugs from our garage refrigerator. Keeping the ladybugs for a long time in the refrigerator will eventually kill the ladybugs. Prior to releasing the ladybugs in the garden, this is the way I water the plants. I water the flowers, the leaves, the stems, and the base of the plant. Ladybugs also eat Colorado potato beetles, fleas, and white flies. If you see spider webs in your plant, Try to get rid of it prior to releasing your ladybugs. Once your ladybugs get entangled with the spider webs, they can easily die. I'm pouring some ladybugs in my dahlia plant, and this time I'm gonna pour some in my salvia plant. And then I'm going to go ahead and spread some ladybugs in my yellow echinacea. You are probably wondering why it's too bright even though it's 8.30 p.m. when I release my ladybugs. I'm actually using the flashlight from my camera of my cell phone when I release my ladybugs. I am also releasing ladybugs in my backyard. These are my dahlias. Some are in the container and some are on the ground. I already watered this earlier, but for whatever reasons, it dries up fast. But with that being said, I place some water in the container and I place it close to the ground. In that way, if the ladybugs need some water, they have access to it. These are my cucumbers in the container. I'm pouring some ladybugs here as well. And these are my potatoes. Actually, these are yellow potatoes. And this is another container of cucumbers. These one are cucumbers as well. Actually, these cucumbers have a lot of aphids and trips. I saw some aphids inside the flower, sometimes on the leaves. This one right here is the container of tomatoes. And so it's with this one. This one is my container for okra. I'm just trying to spread the ladybugs in different plants. Just making sure that all my plants are covered with ladybugs. I'm hoping that they will reproduce as well. In that way, I don't have to keep buying ladybugs. One of the techniques to keep your ladybugs in your garden is to plant dill, fern leaf yarrow, dandelion, gold alyssum, and common yarrow. It is 6 a.m. and I'm going to check the ladybugs that I released last night. If you are new to my channel and you like this video, please don't forget to click the subscribe button below and click the bell button as well. In that way, you'll get notified on my new video uploads. If you are wondering why ladybugs are suggested to be released at night, that is because they are less active at night compared to daytime. One ladybug is able to consume up to 50 
aphids a day. If you decide to release ladybugs in your garden, please avoid using pesticides as this will kill your ladybugs. These ladybugs are enjoying some aphids from this dahlia plant. The yellow echinacea are infested with aphids and that's why these ladybugs are trying to eat as much aphids as they can. These ladybugs are enjoying drops of water at the edge of this bucket. Ladybugs love sunflowers.